my name is Catherine and I'm a craftaholic. Welcome to my craft room and my channel. Here I am again. If you just watched my secret Santa for um, my secret Santa for charity uh, video, welcome back. If you didn't, welcome and don't forget to go and check it out after you watch this video. Now, um, yeah, I know, it's been a while. I am so very sorry. I have still not been feeling great. And first of all, let me thank you all for the sweet and warm and concerned messages. It meant a lot to me. I'm sorry I didn't reply. Um, I will do better. But um, thank you so much for all the sweetness. I have the most fantastic viewers. Thank you so, so, so much. Well, here I am. It's now November. And yeah, I have been busy, though not crazy productive. But I do have news and things to share. So it is going to be quite a bit of a different um, episode. I'm not going to make it too long. Um, I have done several things and uh, I am still doing stuff. Um, I have lots of ideas and I hope I can put them into fruition, but um, let's just start with sharing what I did do. Now, at the end of this video, I will um, sh uh, put the video of the unboxing I did um, that I have not shared yet. But one of the things I've been working on most is something I was really excited about. And I have to say it's been hard to be excited about anything because I kind of lost not just my Crojo, but my Craft Joe. And it's, it's very confusing because I want to do a lot of things, but I end up not doing anything. So, forgive my babbling. This is something um, I was very excited about. Now, before I show you, I know it's mean, I know. Let me just explain really quick where the idea came from. Hold on. I forgot to bring it in. I'm so, I'm so silly sometimes. Okay, so you all remember my Arabella shawl. I talked about it a lot. It's what... Um, I have been working on. Now, the yarn I am using is tencel and linen and paired with a, a sequined uh, thread. And yeah, I stopped in the middle of a row. Oh no, what am I doing? Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. I have not continued working on it much. You can see the sequins shine a little, but um, it's really sparkly in the real light. Now, ooh, fuzzies, sorry. Now this, I have mentioned it before, this pattern is by Skeno. I uh, put the link down below where you can find the pattern as well as the tutorial uh, to make this uh, shawl. And um, as you can see, it has different, hmm, well, it's hard to see. Well, here maybe it's, it has different triangles of um, colors. Oh, I'm sorry, really a lot of fuzzies. But it's made in garter stitch. And though garter stitch is fun to do and is pretty. I am a stockinette fan. 
So while I was working on this one, I was thinking I want to make it in stockinette. How can I do this? Um, it must not be hard. I mean, converting a, a garter pattern into a stockinette pattern, etc. Then, of course, the next question was, what yarn am I going to use? I need 10 to 12 colors of yarn, assorted yarn. And I was thinking, if I am doing stockinette, why not use hand dyed yarn? Because the thing is with the garter stitch, it just doesn't do a hand dyed yarn justice, in my opinion, because it, it all mixed up in the in the um, in the stitch and if you use a stockinette stitch you get this beautiful even plane and the colors just it it looks like it's painted on the fabric so i asked catherine or cat from this little vicious stitches or LBS, like uh, I, I call it for short. I asked her, Catherine, would you like to make me a surprise kit of mini hanks of yarn? I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do with it, but they need to match. I'm going to use it in, in, in one and the same um, project and they have to uh, coordinate together. But you are free to pick colors, to pick a color scheme. Just surprise me. I know it's easy because I kind of got out of choosing, which can be very hard. But also, I thought it, it, it was so much fun to just wait for it. I was so impatient to see it. And... Um, you all know that I love little vicious stitches yarns because seriously I love her colors the names of her colors are pretty fun as well um and and I just love her work so she surprised me and I'll insert a picture right here with the the 12 colors now, isn't that the most beautiful thing? Now, wait until you see how it works up. Now, I'm almost done. I'm at color 11. And I have had to undo two to three times um, due to a drop stitch. Now, the last time I had to undo, I had to undo one full color and half of another color that I did. And um, I'm seriously considering using the lifeline um, technique, but I'm almost done with this one. But seriously, in the future, I am gonna have to. Now, are you ready to see what it looks like? People that follow me on Instagram, link down below, have seen it already. Um, if you want to see what I'm working at, I tend to post it on Instagram before I show it on camera. Now, look at these colors. How beautiful, how wonderful is this? Now, because it's still on the needles, it's a bit scrunched up, but I can show you this bit and oh my goodness doesn't it look like a sunrise how pretty is this now this is the arabella shawl i modified it um normally it's um 150 stitches you do but I changed it to 127 because um, I was afraid I wasn't going to have enough yarn otherwise. Which means that the blocks are a little more narrow. 
and of course it's 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 not as long but actually i think i like this length it's gonna be such a nice uh shawl scarf shawl um it's gonna look great look at these colors you people look at it now i can show you what i meant with how the garter stitch does not do the yarn justice now look at the back of the stockinette the back of the stockinette obviously is a garter stitch looks like a garter stitch now this is pretty right but Isn't that even prettier? I don't know if it's not getting washed out too much. Doesn't that look so much better? Doesn't that do the colors justice? I think so. Well, let me try another color. Even two at a time. See, it looks nice. It really does. But this looks better, much better, in my opinion. I will link, um, like I said twice, I think already, but I will link the pattern in the description box uh, down below. Uh, but I also will write down the adaptations I did. So, um, it's not a lot, but it's just that instead of doing every row in uh, in um, in the garter stitch, you 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 switch it up. You you knit one, and you purl one row. That's what it is. And I did a hundred and twenty-seven stitches instead of a hundred and fifty stitches. But I'll write down all the um, information needed. I also put a link to Kat's Little Bicious Stitches um, shop where you can look at all the beautiful colors she has. And oh my god, her new colors. Oh, <sighs> yes. Yeah. I'm an LBS addict. Yeah, that's another one to a holic to. Um, add in the in the list um lbs holic <laughs> but um yeah i'm almost done with it i am now doing uh, this uh, purple row which is called a violent violet i don't know if cat got her um inspiration from uh jk rowling uh violent purple um, description of the color violet which incidentally um, if you like podcasts you should check out Potterless um, yeah they like the expression violet purple and then the last color left is this very very dark purple it looks black but it's actually can you see? It's actually a very, very, very dark purple. It's gorgeous and it's called Bella Lugosi. There you go. Do you want to know all the, the color names? Um, the first one is Cosmic Whirl. Maybe I should show it on the on the shawl. This is called Cosmic Whirl. Then the second color is called To Venus and Back. The third color is, ah yeah, right, The Rooster. I get that. 
Um, the fourth color is owed to HH. No, that's fifth. Fourth color is Sunset. This one is Sunset. The fifth color is uh, owed to HHF, which I had to ask what it meant. It's her favorite um, yarn dyer. It's, <gasps> I forgot, Hedgehog Fibers, I think. And then the uh, sixth color is Sunset. The seventh color, there was something cinnamon, apple, no, apple crumble, which by the way, I got this des delicious apple tea with my order. The eighth color, strawberry, yeah. The eighth color is called Strawberry Swirl. The ninth color was Bramble, Bramble something, yeah, Bramble Jam. Oh my goodness, here it is, Bramble Jam. And the tenth color which I think I want a whole sweater of. Crushed Velvet. And then um, the Violent Violet. Ooh, where is it? The Violent Violet I am working with now. Well, because it's too small to show you properly. Oh, there you go. I am gonna have to block it, although I do like how these corners curl up. So maybe I won't block it. Of course, you always have the first row curling in. That's the very much the downside of, um, of stockinette though. It curls. So, but I don't know, it's not that bad. I'll have to wait and see uh, what it does when I wear it. I can't wait to finish it though and wear it. And also, have you seen my beautiful shell stitch marker? I love it. It's my very favorite stitch marker um, at the moment. Which brings me to another news. In exciting news um i've opened an etsy shop yay i did um i can only um also put the link in the description box below <laughs> and have you go and uh, have a look there's not much on my shop yet because i totally underestimated how much work it is to make a listing. However, you can find the beautiful shell stitch markers as well as um, these stitch markers and earrings that I showed you in a few episodes ago are listed already, as well as a stitch marker advent calendar. Yes, it's four sets of five stitch markers and four keepers for the stitch markers. They are in beautiful little bags. It's all handmade. I made it all myself. And of course there are 24 little bags and you get to open one every day until Christmas. Now, if you're interested in this beautiful present, which is 
a wonderful present for knitters and crocheters because they are all lever back. Let me show you on a stitch marker that is absolutely not in the calendar. I am not going to spoil that. So they're all lever backs, which means that you can fit them over a, a knitting needle, I think maybe up to a six or a seven millimeter. Um, and you can also use them for crochet as they open. There you go. So that was my little um, advertising, uh, my own Etsy shop, shamelessly. Okay, enough with the advertisement. Oh, no, I do have something very important to tell you. Yes, about my Etsy shop. And that is that I have a coupon code for you. Yeah, to celebrate the opening of my Etsy shop. You can use the code a grand opening surprise to get 20% off of anything in my shop so far. The code will be uh, valid until the end of this month, so until uh, November 30th, 2020. And um, feel free to share uh, the link and the coupon code uh, with your friends and family. Um, you know, and just check out Etsy in general for um, Christmas presents, especially if you have crafters in, in your, in your uh, family um, and people that appreciate handmade items. So check it out and don't forget the coupon code. Now, the next item after my shameless advertisement for my Etsy shop is uh, this Rivendell shawl. The pattern is by J Hook Crochet and more. And you start from the tip and you work until you have the desired length of your shawl. Now I made this one with my own yarn that I spun. Um, it's an acrylic. It's that Bayardine I uh, got, and I'll insert a picture of the the fiber and, and the yarn. But I cannot rave about this pattern enough. It is so much fun to do. First of all, Reggie, kudos. I don't know how you come up with things like that, but it's such a fun repeat. It goes really fast. Now this uh, I made with uh, 200 grams uh, of yarn and I think a four and a half or a four or a five and a half hook, a larger hook for the for the airy feel of it. It went so fast. I made it in a day, maybe two two days, maybe of work, and uh, I I love it. I love that you can make this pattern with any yarn you like you just have to you know choose the right uh, hook for it um okay i'm gonna take it off because it really doesn't match my dress the only thing i still have to do is block it because the uh, points are curling up a little too much but seriously people check it out the link is down below she has a tutorial, a video tutorial, but you can also buy um, the pattern in her Etsy shop, which will also be linked down below. Okay, what else? Um, yeah, well, except for making heaps of stitch markers. Um, that's it for today. I am totally out of my rhythm and out of my <sighs> flow, out of the flow of making videos, I'm gonna really quickly show you the stitch markers I made. I am so in love with the um, these, these shell uh, pendants. I found them online. 
I liked them and I was thinking like, hey, that could be fun, but they just look awesome on your on your your knitting or 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 <laughs> on the knitting or the the crochet you're working on. Uh, look at this one. This one is a rather large one, but I figured that um, you know when I'm working with a more bulky yarn, that's fine. Most of them are about this size, and I have several. This one is also a little bit larger. Hey, show your good side. It's purple and brown. And then all these different shells or conches. They're just too cute. And I paired them all up with a Swarovski pearl and a Swarovski uh, crystal. Um, and they're all on leather back. What else can I show you? Oh yeah, these came in yesterday and it's a mix. They're all, all different. Okay, here, I can show you what I mean with um, a keeper for the stitch markers. So you have the stitch markers, all separate. And let me just open this up. I made another thingy. It's a lever bag with a ring where you can hang your set of stitch markers. And this one has kind of a, a space theme. It's in turquoise colors and in uh, lilacs and uh, violets. Hey, show your pretty side to the camera. There you go, this is a rabbit and stars. There's a moon and a star. And um, yeah, there's a, a rocket, oh, sorry. Sit still. There's a rocket. Planet. So that's one thing. And then another very new thing I started working on is um, stitch markers specifically for knitters. Uh, stitch markers that won't open. And why is it only for knitters? Well, for crocheters if you crochet it into your work you can't get it out but for knitters they're around your needle and they are loops just closed loops can you see yeah and i'm making them with um semi-precious or um precious stones now this one is garnet this one is i think yeah, this one is bone. This one is um, cat's eye, tiger eye, but also just regular glass uh, beads. Yeah, that's what I've been doing yesterday. The space markers and the... Uh, stone chips uh, markers was what I did yesterday huh. and I think that's it for today yeah um I am gonna try for now to do one video every two weeks I'm not gonna promise weekly I'm gonna get into it slowly but I do have a few surprises in the next weeks. So if you don't want to miss any of my videos, make sure that you have hit the subscription bell and then you will get notified whenever I post a new video. Okay, there's only one thing left to do now and that is to 
Thank you for watching and say goodbye. But before I do, you're waiting for your useless fact. I know it. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be like, I did not know that. Well, here it is. The Cookie Monster has a name and that is Sid. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye. Thank you.